thank you Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Hello everybody, what's going on? It's your girl Merle and we are back at it again with another video. I'm going to be scouring TikTok. Well, truthfully, I already did it. I see so many of these recipes and they're like, I don't know, is are butter beans having some kind of resurgence? Did they hire a new PR person? Did I miss that? Like, I think I'm just late to the party, but the butter beans, they're freaking everywhere. You butter bean, leave it. <laughs> they just look so good. I have that thing where I have like an, an indescribable need to chew on things, random things. Like, you know the things you would hold in your hand, like those gel toys that you could like move all the, the sparkly liquid to one end and then move it to the other? I wanted to chew on those. Let's, Let's see, see, what else did I want to chew on? on? In the hope of continuing into this beautiful new year of 2024, maybe I can stick with my workout regimen, keep doing the HIIT workouts, the circuit training, and that means I'm trying to get my protein in. It's not something I ever thought about or worried about, but I'm feeling like if I wanna get the most definition and the biggest bang for my buck, I gotta start focusing on my protein. Also, I'm sick. That's why I look like this right now and why, why I'm just feeling like making healthy food, honestly. But it's on its way out, so what can you do when you got the flu? You guys seem to really enjoy the last video I did where I did like a recipe roundup from TikTok. We're gonna do it again, and we're gonna focus on protein this time. These three recipes that I have lined up for y'all, they look so good. And of course, as always, I will link all of the original creators in the description below, which reminds me, if you haven't already, you should just go ahead and like and subscribe. It doesn't hurt, it's free. It helps me. That rhymes, and I didn't even plan that one. We've got some variety. We've got a... A quesadilla recipe. We've got a cheesy beans, butter beans. And we've got a vegan chickpea Caesar wrap. They all look really good. So we're gonna start with the wrap for no particular reason other than I want to. And because, actually, there is a reason. My butter beans are soaking. Let me tell you something. I soaked them overnight and I put them in the fridge. I think that was my mistake. They turned ghastly. I didn't know, I'm, I don't normally buy dried beans. That's something I wanna do more of in 2024, okay? And oh my God, when I looked at them the next day, they had shed their skin. It was morbid time. And then even worse, when I bit into it. It was crunchy still. So I don't know if I was sold some bad beans. The beans, the special beans. The beans? The special beans. I let him go. I didn't know he'd stolen my beans. I was watching him crawl back over the wall. And well, that's another story, never mind. Yeah, so they look really terrible, but hopefully they'll be fine. I tried another batch. I added a little baking soda in there in the water and they're definitely morbid still, but I don't know. Let's start off with the first recipe. Chickpea Caesar salad wrap. In this recipe, which was by That Vegan Babe, they had a whole thing where they marinated their tempeh, because we're gonna use tempeh and chickpeas. Yeah, because protein, hello. And I don't feel like doing the whole extra step of marinating the tempeh, so I just bought tempeh that's already bacon flavored. One moment, please, while I go get that. I'm using this Light Life Vegan Smoky bacon flavored tempeh. Just a little shortcut, cause why not? Honestly, this costs the same, if not less. To me, it's worth it. And then we're gonna work with our chickpeas. This scared me cause it's dented and I'm very scared of botulism, but I think as long as it's not like protruding that I don't have a chance of dying. I mean, I guess, I guess there's always a chance, chance of dying, dying but, but can dented. Discard deeply dented cans. A deep dent is one that you can lay your finger into. Let's get to the bottom of this. Is this deeply dented? It says that I can lay my finger into it. It's probably fine. But what if it's not? Good thing I got three. Every time I open any can of chickpeas, I get the comment, don't throw away the aquafaba, use it. I know, I know, I know I you know can, you use, can it. use it. I don't often use it because I hate the smell. 2024, it's a new year. Maybe now I start, I don't know. But oftentimes I'll keep it and it smells like old cat urine and it just sits there creeping me out until I throw it away. Don't look away, don't look. Maybe I, maybe I saved it. Now wouldn't you feel bad if somehow that can did kill me and the last comment you ever left was, Save your aquafaba. No, actually I'm just kidding. Send me recipes to use with the aquafaba and if I'm convinced, I'll consider it. It says to use a cup of chickpeas, but I'm not an animal. I'm not gonna just use a cup of this can and then just save like a quarter of a cup. I'm gonna make it all. 
onion powder, garlic powder, and a pinch of salt. Mix that up. And now we're gonna put it on this, which I haven't cleaned since I roasted some uh, kale on there. <laughs> Whoops. This is a functioning kitchen, okay? This is not a studio, in case you couldn't tell by the messy ass refrigerator or the stuff everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna air fry it 400 degrees for eight minutes, or you can bake it at 400 and 25 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 218 degrees Celsius. I'm air frying. I should probably put the chickpeas on the tray, huh? Sick brain, man. You know, you know, you know how it goes. Oh, that's a mess. Gotta get the shot. It all began tonight. I saw you when the world went away. This year's the year I'm gonna start my Broadway career. Just kidding, I moved away from New York because that's the only thing holding me back. Does anyone else like love their singing voice when they're sick and like kind of, and their talking voice? Unless you're just one of those people blessed with a smoky voice. The coughing all night and all day is a drawback though. Okay, look at these little chestnuts. Now we're gonna take it over to the stove with our pre-marinated bacon. We're just, nothing crazy. We're just gonna put it in the pan Pan fry it medium heat, medium high heat, so it gets nice and crispy on each side, like three minutes or so. We've got our vegan bacon, the tempeh bacon here, chickpeas. And now we're just gonna blend up our dressing and then we're gonna assemble. I'm gonna start with the quarter cup of, I'm using oat milk. This is a half a clove of garlic, but like, come on. A quarter of a cup of hemp seeds. <coughs> I know it's disgusting that like a sick person is preparing food, but it's just for me. All right, two teaspoons of caper brine. So this is like to help get that Caesar dressing flavor. And then two teaspoons of capers. A quarter of a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. So just a little squirt. Salt and pepper to taste. Now I'm gonna just cover this up and we're gonna blend it together. Oh, I almost forgot the lemon juice. I hate when people like add it in over their hand. I know like everybody does it, but I don't like that. So now I'm just gonna take some lettuce. I don't see myself needing more than that. So I don't know why I took the bottom off of this. I should have kept the bottom on. It would stay better longer, but I'm not, I'm not thinking, thinking right, right now. now. I'm, not I'm not thinking, thinking well. well. Ah, here's my rinsed out and ready to use plastic bag. Yes, I reuse my plastic bags, and you should too. Now it's basically just time to assemble. I'm gonna put this bowl here. I'm gonna put this lettuce there. All right, we got our dressing. I'm not gonna use all of it. This is supposed to be a whole wheat tortilla, but the grocery store was out, so we're going with this because it was the only one big enough. I need a big wrap the way I make wraps, you know? God, there's so many ingredients. Okay, now I'm getting annoyed. Red onion. All right, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be annoyed. Whatever. Lettuce is just elite for wraps. Tempeh bacon, some chickpeas. I'm obviously not gonna use all of these. Our onion. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, last thing is the sun-dried tomatoes. We have to roll, baby. Where there's a wrap, you gotta roll. Here we go. We got this. We got this. Confidence is key. 2024, year I don't mess up any wraps. They don't break. They don't get overstuffed. They fit perfectly and everything is fine. Yep, I did that. It's barely hanging on for dear life, but I did it. Oh, it's breaking. Well, please stay together in a pretty way. That looks pretty good. Mmm, mmm. The lesson here is don't be shy with the dressing because the chickpeas are dry. Okay, it makes a mess. Probably my wrapping job. The tempeh bacon is really complimentary to the Caesar dressing and the, the lettuce, the great crunch. Red onion, really nice. I probably should add a little more sun-dried tomato. I really like the dressing. I'm gonna give this a 7.6. The tempeh and the chickpea aren't doing quite as much as I wish they would as far as body goes. I know she has another recipe where she uses vegan chicken nuggets, but maybe even like let the air fried chickpeas sit in the dressing or something. They're just dry. I might add some avocado to this, honestly. It's missing a, an element of like creaminess texture, but I'm not complaining. I will definitely make an iteration of this again. Overall, I'm really impressed with the, re the recipe. I'm really happy I met this dressing. 40 grams of protein in this. Granted, probably be more if I use the whole wheat. So around 40 grams. This is a great meal that's not gonna make you feel like heavy after the fact, but you'll be full. On to the next one. So we got our first recipe done. I have to say, I know we're in the same clothes and maybe I look pretty much the same, but this is actually the next day. I just ruined the whole point of me putting on the same sweater. After I finished shooting last night, 
I made myself another one of those chickpea wraps, the Caesar ones, but I did my additions that I had mentioned. I added avocado, I let the chickpeas soak in the liquid, and I actually just added the chickpeas and the lettuce all together in the dressing. It was so good, amazing, honestly. Like, absolutely gonna add that to my rotation. We have two more recipes. We're gonna do the cheesy bean bowl first, because honestly, I'm just dying to see if these beans are gonna be crunchy. It's gonna be such a bummer if they are. First things first, so for the cheesy beans, we gotta make the cheese sauce stuff. So let me get my... Oh, you know what else I added to the wrap that made it even better. I also added pickles. I'm gonna add the silken tofu in first. I feel like that'll be a good buffer. Let's see if it's accurate. 350 grams, you said? 338, so rip off. Oh wait, did it say 340? Oh, it said 340. <laughs> Boom this in. Let's plop this in here. Silken tofu, just fell all over the place. Are you kidding me? All right, we got Dijon mustard, smoked pap, paprika, turmeric, garlic, white vinegar, 35 grams of nutritional yeast. I got this really cute little new spoon. I didn't actually buy it for that. It just came with the silverware we got. How is that only four grams? How much How nutritional much yeast am I gonna have to, have to use? use? That cannot be right. How many grams of nutritional? Okay, I guess that is right. It's a lot of nutritional yeast, baby. Don't get me wrong, I love nutritional yeast but it's not cheap. Add that in. All right, and it says whiz up the sauce ingredients. So we're gonna whiz this up. That's a fun word to use. We're gonna whiz it up. I'm gonna take that, I like that. Oh, I almost forgot to add salt. Half tablespoon of salt. And I am gonna add that last little bit of nutritional yeast. I think it could use it. it it's tasting use. very vinegary mustardy. <laughs> Now, what apparently we're gonna do is put this cheesy mixture over stove in a pan, not just by itself and we're gonna add the beans in there. Once we have our cheesy mixture and the butter beans heating up in one pan, we're gonna use another pan and we're gonna add in some red onion and some garlic. And then I believe what they did in the recipe is she took like already cooked lentils, canned lentils, and added that with the water in and then cooked their quinoa, like dried quinoa in the lentil water, which is brilliant. But I just have already prepared quinoa and lentils. And then the last thing we're gonna do is just sear some little broccoli florets. Okay, I'm choosing to air fry my broccoli because honestly, I've already used two pans and they're holding the things that I cooked in them. I just don't wanna wash another pan for one recipe. It's a lot of dishes. We got the blender, we got the pan, we got the, all the stuff, so. I'm gonna, not that air frying means there's no dishes, it's just easier. So I'm gonna air fry these. It should have the same effect as kind of charring them, obviously. Not exactly the same, but close enough. In fact, we're actually gonna be baking chickpeas with this and we're gonna be baking at 400 degrees and just adding a little bit of paprika, cumin, salt, and pepper. So I'm just gonna put the broccoli right on there with the chickpeas so I can do them all together. Whoa, wow, okay, okay. Dude, I tried one of my butter beans, it crumbled in my mouth. There's gotta be something wrong with the beans. So I won't blame the beans on this recipe, but I'm pissed. Okay, let me take a little taster of this quickly. Oh, damn dude, it's a powerhouse. This looks absolutely gorgeous. One thing I will say, 99.5% sure the beans that I used are still gonna be crunchy. And if they are, that's by no means the recipe's fault. So it won't lose any points for that. Let me get a little bit of everything here. Mm, listen, that is delicious. If the beans were right, it would be amazing. But let me tell you, it's fine, because there's so much else in this recipe that I don't even miss the, well, okay, I miss them a little bit. And it's so healthy. I love that with like the cheesy sauce, it's not reliant on a bunch of salt, just good, rich flavoring from the mustard, the vinegar, the smoked paprika, nutritional yeast. I love this, like the taste is sensational. And if the beans are right, it would be unbelievable. But it's pretty pricey when you think about how much nutritional yeast you use. And quinoa is kind of expensive. And let me tell you one thing, it uses a lot of dishes. It takes a long time to make. It's a lot of moving parts. The cleanup's not gonna be super fun, but it makes a decent amount. So you could have some meal prep, which is great. Considering the flavor, the beans were perfect, the mess, the price, I'm gonna give it an 8.8. .8. I think it's delicious. I think it's a pain to make. This one has over 50 grams of protein in it. That's loaded. That was amazing. I definitely will make those cheesy beans again, but with better butter beans. Better butter beans. Let's move on to the final one. 
We're finally up to the third and final recipe, and this one is a quick one. It's a 20 minute high protein quesadilla by That Vegan Babe. And this one's supposed to have around 38 grams of protein. I, I never make quesadillas. This one basically comprises of a bunch of veggies, no surprise, a vegan cheese sauce. The vegan cheese sauce is gonna use silken tofu again, but we're gonna be using silken and firm tofu. So that's interesting. We're gonna take it over to the stove and get some olive oil there, and we're gonna add in our onion. And then once the onion's translucent, we're gonna add in our mushrooms and our bell pepper. And while things are heating up on the stove, we're gonna blend together our vegan cheese sauce. So we're gonna take about 70 grams of silken tofu, nutritional yeast, lemon juice, garlic powder, and a healthy pinch of salt. Push down the side so that it all gets evenly incorporated so it's nice and smooth. Once the mushrooms and pepper and onion are all cooked together, we're going to add in some black beans and some corn, along with some extra firm tofu, onion powder, chili powder, and smoked paprika, and then some salt and pepper to taste. And at the end, we're gonna add in just a quarter cup of tomato sauce and a handful of spinach. And the last thing to do is to assemble our quesadilla. So we're just gonna spread the cheese mixture over one of our tortillas, get it on there nice and even. And now I'm gonna go ahead and plop this on here as gracefully as I can and I'm not gonna overdo it. All right, that feels right. I'm gonna cover that up. Let me just put some oil on here. Pray together that this successfully goes over there. I'm gonna use this spatula. It's very good for pancakes, and I think it'll be good for this too. Come on, baby. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, 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 you did that. <clears throat> okay, so this is stuck to the pan. I put so much oil in there, and it's ripping it, and I'm so upset. All my hard work is gonna be for nothing. This is so bad. This is what's left in the pan. And who knows what's, I mean, it's gonna taste the same. It's just a mess. It's just a messy mess. You know what? It's really not there in the world. It's just basically just looks bad. I am not gonna lose my mind. Not over a quesadilla, baby. Not over a quesadilla. I don't have it in me to wait any longer. Now, hold on a minute. Let's step out of the kitchen and talk business in the other room for a sec. Because I want to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. Yes, yes, this is the room where I do business. Listen, when I used to work at BuzzFeed, I would get the question all the time, how did you get your job? I had no work experience, and I think the thing that set me aside was having a website. I had to hire my friend Jenna to make it for me, but with Squarespace, you can truly do it yourself. Squarespace has a feature called Fluid Engine, which basically is what makes the entire user experience so seamless. The drag and drop ability, it's instinctual, it's convenient, and you can do it from desktop or mobile. If you're looking to be a food content creator, Squarespace has power blogging tools to share stories, photos, videos, and updates. Finally, with Squarespace, you can sell your products right there on an online store. It's so easy, y'all, that's actually making me consider finally releasing some merch. So go to Squarespace for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, go to www.squarespace.com slash Neal to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. Once again, that's www.squarespace.com slash Neal for 10% off your first website or domain. No matter how much experience you have building a website, you can do it with Squarespace, trust me. So have fun showcasing your work, selling your products, whatever you're gonna do. You got this. Thank you again, Squarespace, for sponsoring today's video. This whole video from the sponsor to the content just screams healthy productivity in the new year. Even though there was a crisis, I forgive it. The cheese sauce is yummy. It's not like giving this is real cheese, but... It's giving. If I'm gonna have a quesadilla, I'm probably just gonna use vegan cheese. I know that kind of defeats the purpose of like the whole protein thing, but I'm just being honest. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. When I'm thinking quesadilla, I'm going all out with cheese. For a healthier option, this is it. That's our last one. I need to wrap it up. I need to go like take a warm bath. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Please like and subscribe. Please enjoy the rest of your day or night or morning, whatever time it is. And if you want to hang out with me between videos, my social links, Instagram, TikTok are all in the description. I've got a podcast with Aria, comes out every Monday called Borderline Inappropriate. All socials will be down there. Check them out. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you'd like me to make next. And let me know what you guys thought about this like sort of compilation of TikTok recipes. Thank you to all the creators out there. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. All of their links to their videos and their accounts will be in the description as well. I'm gonna go relax and play some Baldur's Gate. Okay, bye. You butter, but you butter bean leave. I'm gonna try them. You butter bean leave. <laughs> You butter bean leave, I'm gonna try it. When you see him that many times looking delectable and so chewable, you better, you butter bun, you butter bean leave, I'm gonna try him. <laughs>